It's not how many times you get knocked down. It's about how many times you get back up. Darkness has a way of looming over Jake Simmons. The weight of the world lifted only by his nightlight. Basketball. Without basketball, I could have been dead. Entering his senior year at Buffalo State, the NCAA ruled Jake ineligible. Pretty much they had a heart, you know, as it comes down to. And they, they, they understood my story, read my story. Ultimately, his entire story reversed the ruling. Growing up in Rochester, Jake handled adversity at a young age. With his father in prison, Jake's mother was diagnosed with sarcoidosis, a debilitating, incurable disease. To make matters worse, Jake's stepdad abused him mentally and physically, including one night when he pulled a knife on Jake. It was like, see, I can kill you though. And he stabbed me. Where is your stepfather now? He's in prison. For what? Rape. Rape of who? His own daughters. Memories still flicker in Jake's brain. His family's house burned down when he was a teenager, just moments after he rescued his mother from the smoke-filled abyss. She has a cane and a walker, but she, she couldn't use it because it wasn't fast enough, you know, so I had to really hold her and help her out the house. With her illness getting worse, Jake knew his mother was running out of time. Then, days before Jake's high school graduation, she was gone. I lost hope. I lost faith in life. I lost faith in everything. And soon, Jake lost the will to live. I pulled the trigger and the bullet didn't, it didn't come out. I didn't take it as a sign at the time of me supposed to live. Jake bounced around foster care. He also started spending time with his biological father, Jake Sr., who had been released from prison a few years before. He was 15 months old. And the, the weirdest part is when I came out of prison and got back with my son and found my son, he was 15 years old. Things were starting to stabilize for Jake until one October day. A severe car accident left him paralyzed for 10 days. Through his rehab process, he rediscovered his love for the game. Everything else I couldn't control. I couldn't control my car accident. I couldn't control <clears throat> my stepfather's abuse. But what I can control was making my shot. And Jake shot his way onto the Buffalo State basketball team. Jake never used his story as, as, as a crutch. I think he just used the opposite. He just used it as, as a motivation. And that, to me, was a character of a winner. Jake was a three-year starter until the NCAA told him he couldn't play. You see, Jake took classes at community college before Buffalo State and used all 10 semesters of eligibility. But when Jake told the NCAA his story, they changed their mind and gave him his final season. And boy, did he make it count. You gotta pass it the way he's headed, not where he's been. This past December, Jake was 33 points away from becoming the school's all-time leading scorer. It wasn't impossible, but I knew it was gonna be a reach. Family on three, one, two, three, family. Then, in the second half, it happened. I knew it was all net right there, before I even got to the basket. I almost fell off the bleacher because I jumped so high. <laughs> Jake needed 33 points to break the record. That night, he scored 43. I've been beat. I've been homeless. I've been foster care. I've been in all situations that you can think of, the worst. It's not how many times you get knocked down. It's about how many times you get back up. There you have it, a living legend. Jake broke Randy Smith's 41-year-old record by nearly 400 points. While Smith went on to play in the NBA, Jake hopes to play overseas before one day becoming a motivational speaker. Jonah Javad, Channel 2 Sports.